Hey guys, welcome back to Furniture Flipping Teacher. If you're new here, my name is Lauren and I am a full-time kindergarten teacher who is on a journey to pay off my student loans by flipping furniture. So I paint furniture and I clean up old furniture and then I sell it and I take that money and I put it straight toward my student loans. So welcome to the journey. Today is my 25th birthday, so I'm excited for this flip for you guys. I hope you enjoy. It is a burnt orange swivel rocker. This one's super fun because it's my favorite color, orange. This chair is in such great condition. I hope you enjoy the flip. Let's get going. And I found this chair on Facebook Marketplace. When I found this chair on Facebook Marketplace, it was located about 40 minutes from my house. Well, the chair was only listed for $10. So I asked if she was coming to my hometown anytime soon. And she said she was a few days later. So she ended up delivering it to my house with just a charge of $10 for delivery. So the chair was $20 altogether, and I got it delivered to my front porch. Couldn't go wrong there. Well, let's get to the flip. This chair is in perfect shape, and it is a swivel rocker underneath, and you never know what you're gonna get until you see it, that's one risk that you have to take if you are getting it delivered. From the photos, I could tell that it was in great shape and she told me that her 11 year old son didn't know what he was missing out on when he told her that he didn't like it for his video game chair. Under the cushion as well, it is Mastercraft of Omaha. It was actually, I believe, custom made, especially for Edna Wagner. So if Edna's out there, hello Edna, I have your chair. And you took some really good care of this chair and I am excited to give it a little makeover, clean it up, and give it to the next owner. You always wanna try to remember to protect the velvet fabric. This one has barely any wear and tear on it, so I am definitely going to do some extra protection. So this one is a swivel rocker on the bottom. I'll show you the bottom of it. It's in such great condition. There's not even any wear and tear down there. No dust. I don't even know how in the world someone kept this chair this nice. All right, so these types of chairs are actually one of my favorite flips because they're easy, don't need to do a lot of work to them, especially when they come in this nice of shape. So all I'm gonna do is cut off the skirt, clean it up, and then post it for sale. So I like to shove in my scissors if I can, rip out the skirt. Some are a little on there, a little bit more snug than others. I'll grab a screwdriver. Takes a little muscle, like I've said before. I can tell this one's definitely custom made. It's well made compared to some of the other ones that I've got. Not that those weren't well made, but this one's like extra well made. Can't barely get my skirt off. Okay, let's try to start cutting it. Sorry. Edna. This right here is what I'm trying to do, trying to get the seam up. Holy cow, the staples are in there. Oh my goodness. Okay, maybe this one's not gonna be quite as easy as I thought. Normally this all just comes right up.
right, so I'm back here. It's the next day. I uh, needed to take a break because, like I said, this chair is a booger. Next thing I'm gonna do is take my needle nose pliers and just go through and get all of the loose staples out of there. Oh my goodness. I don't even know, I lost track of time. I'm pretty sure that chair, just taking the skirt off, took me like two hours. I didn't give up, I got it done. I'm gonna show you what it looks like now, and then we're gonna get to cleaning up. There we go. All finished up. Boom. All right, so now that we've got the skirt all off, I'm gonna go ahead and get out my Bissell vacuum and get to cleaning some of the spots. I'm gonna vacuum and clean the whole thing, but I'm gonna focus on those little tough spots. There's really not much of them in this chair, so that shouldn't take me long as well, but hopefully I'm right because you know how the skirt went. All right, so if you remember from the last chair flip I did, that first little swipe of spraying that I do has to sit on there for about five minutes. So I'm gonna let that sit and then I'm gonna come back and vacuum it up. All right, we're ready to get started vacuuming. Here we go. One thing to always remember is to get into the crevices because look at all that dust. Just needs to be picked and vacuumed out, so that's my next step here. Last step is to go ahead and finish the chair vacuuming by vacuuming the cushion. So I'm gonna vacuum both sides of the cushion and then I'm gonna let the chair dry out here. It should dry pretty quick because a little bit windy and then we'll do some staging and photos oh yesterday i failed i wanted to get this staged and photographed time got away from me so i didn't so now here i am next day we're gonna get it staged and we're gonna get photos super quick because it is snowing outside and it is freezing Again with the staging, I'm kind of just working with what I have. I don't have all the props that I would like to use for staging this. I'd maybe like a tall floor lamp that goes over it, but I'm working with what I got. This is gonna get done as quick as possible. I'm 
make sure to get the Mastercraft of Omaha original design. I'm about to post the chair onto Facebook Marketplace. I'm thinking about 150 because it's in such nice condition. So I ended up listing it for 150 as I had said before. I wanna remind you that you cannot be impatient if you are flipping and selling furniture because I listed this about two or three days ago maybe even four days ago and I had nothing. But then yesterday I had a person inquire, so she was coming today. And then after she inquired, I had bajillion people, three people, message me and say, is this available? And I said, it's pending pickup. And now they're like, well, let me know if it falls through. I'm really interested. So be patient because your pieces are going to sell. It's something that I have a hard time doing. Since they're on their way, I'm gonna go ahead and finish cleaning this up, make it nice and ready for them. On the bottom, I'm gonna just clean the rocker part. All right, so let's get this baby out of here. Thanks for watching and following along today. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video and you found some awesome tips and tricks, get subscribed below, like this video, and make sure to follow me on Instagram at Furniture Flipping Teacher for some behind the scenes and some photos that I love sharing with you guys over there. I'll see you on the flip side.